So, it seems I started a new project recently, and that will be a, a remodification of Guy Rail. Guy Rail from Iron Blooded Orphans. You can see I have a Guy Rail, I have a builder parts from EBR series, and I have been started to already build something. Actually, our model is just built out of the box, as you can see. Uh, and this is surprisingly a very interesting and original model design. Because I haven't seen anything like that. Maybe a little bit more similar to a Gerial is a Grace. Yeah. Closest to similarity of this model's design. But the point is that I am not planning to keep him like that, as you understood from before what I showed Guy Rail has an optional parts to uh, modifi modify him sorry, modify him to a uh, Scharf Richter Scharf Richter Guy Rail It will be uh, some variation of Guy Rail but the one of mass produced variation so uh, for that one, I used three additional boxes I showed before to get and gather all the parts I needed. So first one is a. Oh, I put where else somewhere. Uh, first one it will be a warp pick X. I think it's a warp pick X. My phone isn't focusing at all. It's bad lighting. I have to forget. Uh, I still forgive it for this. And then we have a shoulder claws. It's a quite cool looking shield with a claw attachments at the end. Two units, one box with parts comes only with one, so you need two boxes. We have a head. Yes, a unique cool looking head. Reminds a little bit of those outcast samurais from all their anime series, movies, whatever it is. And front skirt. Yes, that's right. Front skirt is also is an optional part which must be removed, uh, um, attached, replaced by uh, replaced one old part. So itself is a really cool design, of course. But as I mentioned before, my target wasn't actually uh, original gay rail. I wanted always to build a sharp Richter. Oh, head looks like that. A very cool looking design actually. A little bit maybe hollow under the neck. Yeah. Uh, shoulders, actually shoulders you can remove remove from the pad with a little dose of shield, shield parts. And you can literally use on whatever you want and in the custom. And here we go. Easy and simple. You can remove easily this one. Yes, this one. We attach another one shield. As I mentioned before, in overall, the rail has a unique nice design. It's just a little bit <coughs> hollow in some spaces. A little bit, a little bit somehow strange. A little bit strange. And we have to remove a front crouch part which is extremely tight and that's a good thing actually and we attaching this one and this will be a complete customization of uh, guy rail sharp richter yeah guy rail sharp richter is complete of course i will be uh, adding to him a war pickaxe soon but there's a slight problem which actually pops out after you are built Sharp Richter. The colors do not match the original model. That's right, in the season 2, very first episodes, I don't remember, the very beginning at least of season 2, we saw a Sharp Richter taking their ground against the Iron Blood Torfans against Gildahorn. And those were sand, sand, light sand, and slightly a bit darker tones of sand color. 
upper lid and all over the armor pieces you see here. So basically what? Blue, dark blue will be repainted, green will be repainted, uh, gray parts here, gray on head, gray, gray on front skirt, also will be repainted, as well as a huge as backpack. Backpack, it's actually, I think it's a trusser. Yeah, huge trusser. So basically, uh, guy rail is a high mobility unit customized for the clothes and contours, I think. That's what this looks like. And that much for the phase one, I think. So all is left is to prepare parts for a um, washing. Yeah, I'll clean parts from a, a factory detergent. A little bit mold, a little bit greasy, can be seen because it just released from the factory and just packed. Anyhow, it looks good already, but yeah, the colors will be a nice addition to finalized version of Gyrel Sharp Rifter. So, that much about this video, and thank you for watching this video. See you next time.